Video games are changing. There's no denying that. The classic story campaign modes that we used to going in and learning about characters has been replaced with multiplayer and even multiplayer campaign with little or no story which just doesn't build bonds between characters and players like it used to. Examples of this can be like Titanfall and Destiny whose campaigns really aren't in depth at all and just barely scratch the surface of may what may have been a deeper world. Now step forward Halo, an iconic character, check. An amazing backstory, check. Vast worlds waiting to be explored, check. Awesome stories told outside the main war, check. A brilliant underlying storyline, check. A different point of view, undergoing. This is where Hunt the Truth comes in. Will it actually help the Halo franchise? First impressions, yes, it creates a brilliant build up to a game that Halo and non-Halo fans cannot wait to get their hands on coming full this year. And it starts to make gamers question everything that has happened. Why John 117 has done things. And who is Agent Locke? See seeking the Arbiter's help. It could really add to the game. And provide a different dimension we have not seen in a video game in a very long time. Especially not in Halo. This has never happened. But could this also be negative? Are we on the verge of losing the very thing that made the franchise what it is? With a compelling story that no other that can still stand up to online multiplayer. Is Benjamin Gerald, a character that I've came to respect over just three episodes of Hunt the Truth, alienating us from the Chief? Will this deep composition put together by Free for Free Industries to set up John to fail? But not just John, but maybe the whole franchise is on the brink here. It's make or break for Halo, and I'd hate to be built up so much like previous titles, just to be let down by something that isn't even to do with campaign or story, but maybe a multiplayer element, the games rely on so much nowadays to survive. They may be just a little bit out, but just changes the whole dynamic of the game and just throws away even more fans. So what I'm trying to say is, do not make one aspect of the game amazing. Do not focus on just multiplayer or just story. And in doing that, don't let the, ga the whole game down with one silly aspect. I want the game Halo 5 Guardians to be as good as it can be. But the power is with 343 now. They've created the story for Chief. They've said it that he won't be around forever. I just don't want the game to suffer because of this. I've been your boy Farwell Kid. Like, subscribe to it on Twitch. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace out.